Well, my friends, we did it. We've done it. It's done. The Kickstarter campaign is a success, and the Super 16 is coming to a Eurorack system near you. I feel like I should have some champagne to pop or something, but it's one in the afternoon, and honestly, I wasn't expecting to do this. Uh, if you were following the campaign at all, it looked really until late last night like it was not going to quite meet the threshold, but then I woke up this morning, uh, and we had almost 100 new backers just overnight, so welcome, all of you, and thanks to all of you, to everyone who's contributed to the campaign, uh, helped me test out the module and develop new features or support it in any way. My sincere thanks, uh, and I can only promise that I will be working seven days a week to make sure that every promise of this campaign is fulfilled. So what's next? Well, obviously I need to start ordering some parts, ordering some boards, ordering some panels. I've already started some of that. I have um, placed orders for some of the more difficult to source parts like jacks and potentiometers because those are imported. Uh, and the turnaround time on those is really variable because of what's going on in the world right now. Uh, it's unpredictable when those will get delivered, so I hope to find out more about that soon. The jacks, I think, will get here uh, before too long. The pots might take a little bit longer, and I'm hoping to be able to use the ones I've already ordered, but if that ends up taking too long, I should be able to source enough domestically to be able to at least deliver the modules that have already been ordered. I also need to get back to a lot of you individually. I know I have a couple of unread messages sitting up on my screen right now, and I'm going to start answering those just as soon as I upload this video. And of course, I also need to place a big order for some PCBs, and I have just got some in the mail. These are the latest prototype. They have all the components slightly shifted to be in the right position, and I have also got some matching black PCB front panels. I wanted to make a couple of test panels before I order them in metal because that's a bit more expensive and time-consuming, and I think these actually came out quite nice as a black module. I know a bunch of you have been asking whether or not it would come in black, so consider this an announcement. Uh, yes, it will, uh, although these are not the metal front panels. If you would prefer a black PCB front panel to a brushed metal panel, that is the side-by-side, -side, um, I have seen some PC panels that are a little bit too shiny or uh, where the contrast is not very good, so I was kind of skeptical about it, but I think they actually look quite nice. I'll show you a close-up of this in a second. Here are the PCB panels up close. You can see this is a more gloss finish one. Uh, the Bifaka panels are a little bit shinier. And this is more of a matte finish. It more closely matches, I think, these uh, black metal panels. This one is steel, this one's probably aluminum. Uh, and just to give you kind of a comparison of the tone, I think it's actually a pretty good match. It's better than I was expecting um, because I have seen these panels more often. Um, so I am actually quite pleased with that. The printing isn't quite as sharp. I don't know how well this comes out in video as maybe some of the silk screens would be, but if you prefer black, it is certainly legible and sharp enough to be read at a distance. So, yeah, once again, if you prefer a black panel, let me know, and I will certainly do my best to get you one. Another thing that a number of you have asked about is parts. These guys, little electronic components, and whether or not there will be kits available for the Super 16. I think my plan right now is to set up a separate web shop where you can buy a parts kit for your PCB and panel set that'll be separate from Kickstarter. That might take a little bit longer to put together, so expect to wait maybe a couple weeks before I launch that. But I know that it would vastly simplify things for a lot of you, especially who are not in the United States, where it's difficult to source parts right now. Obviously, my priority is to get the boards made and the panels made and ship out the complete modules, but the more that I've looked into doing parts kit, the more straightforward it seems. So it's something that I would like to take on sort of as an extra challenge. I know we didn't have stretch goals on this campaign, but it sort of feels like a runaway success anyway, just because of how suddenly this came at the end. Anyway, I have got my work cut out for me, so I had better get started on it. I want to say thanks again to everyone who has helped to make this project a reality. It is incredibly motivating and humbling to have your support. And I can't tell you how much I am looking forward to hearing the music that you make with the Super 16. Thank you again. I'll see you next time.